Give it up for Sam Morell, everybody. <laughs> Sam, this is so hey. funny. <laughs> Good to see you. Hi, How it's so you? nice to see you. What's up? How are you? I'm doing... I'm, I'm, I'm mad do- I shaved my mustache. We would have looked like Mario and Luigi up here. It would have been, <laughs> I know. been fun. Yeah, no, I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're, this is, so we, we're doing... Anyways, this is sort of like an advice show. Sure. We have one show, just me and this one, we're bringing up a bunch of comics. So. Sure, I'm drinking on a Monday. I give great advice. <laughs> does, any, does anyone want any advice for me and Sam? What do you got? Over there, over there. Oh, yeah, sorry. You, did not, you, you, not advice, but a question for both of you. Oh, please, yes. What are both of your kinks? What are kinks? both of our kinks? Oh, wow. I mean, even a woman asking for me, you're on the right path. I mean, just a woman being like, what are you into? Oh, just a woman asking about me. Oh, there we go. Oh, that, this is my whiskey, by the way. BodegaCatWhiskey.com, folks. Try it. Yeah, cheers. What is it again? What kind Bodega of whiskey? whiskey.com. Is that okay? It's a rye. It's it's made in Houston. It's really good whiskey. That's pretty good, right? Yes. <laughs> it's great. It's pretty good. Actually, my drink of choice, I don't drink often, but yeah. my drink of choice is either a margarita or a whiskey on the rocks. All right, well, thanks for wincing after having mine. Uh, what is, what is your kink by the way? You didn't answer. Mine? Yeah. Oh, I was waiting for her. My kink, uh, I mean, at this point, I'm so tired of sex. If you just hold a 401k over me, I'm happy. (laughs) For me, I'm thinking what a kink is. I mean. Well, in this crowd. (laughs) Because you got to be very specific with gays. You know, straight people, their kink's like, one time I pulled her hair. And gays are like, ah, child's play. (laughs) I know, whatever I'm going to say is going to sound, I'm going to sound so prude here. Yes. I'll take a finger in the ass. That's good. Yeah. Oh, a woman's finger. Uh, calm down, folks. Uh, I don't like a hint. A hint, like Tostitos hint of lime. Just a little bit, just so you know it's there. You know. Nice. It's good. That's, I'll you take know. the whole dick. Yeah. <laughs> hey, maybe the finger's a gateway drug. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, but just a hint. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's good. I sometimes will talk to a, a guy who is like, that's, a straight guy will say that's gay, and you're like, it's, you know, it's fun. That's it's, what gay, it's like a Broadway show. It's for everybody. It's like a Broadway show. Gays talk about it the most. If you're a straight guy and you never go, uh, you miss it out. Yeah. Dude, I love a musical, though. What's your favorite musical? <sighs> I like Company. Yeah. I like I like Guys and Dolls. I'm a fucking... If it's a good New York show, I like, I like classic New York stuff, yeah. Yo, you're a New Yorker. Yeah. Sam is a real... Born and raised in Manhattan. I am, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you're like... Company's good. Uh, Cats is brilliant. I think we can all agree. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's terrible. Uh, but as a kid, I was blown away by Cats. I was like, this is the shit. And then you grow up and you're like, it's pretty fucking bad, huh? I got invited. Grease is fun. Grease is a fun one. Can't fuck with Grease. I love, I, one time I was playing Reno and Olivia Newton-John was, in, I, I was like, it was, it was like probably uh, 13 years ago or something, 12 years ago. I'm in Reno in a casino. Your dreams don't always come true quickly in this business. <laughs> and Olivia Newton-John's in the next room, and I was like, oh, man, I, want, I didn't get to see her because I was, you know, I was <laughs> performing. <laughs> I was performing for fucking the worst fucking audiences you've ever seen. You want to see a bad crowd, do a casino in Reno. They're on fucking meth. <laughs> I think my opener was, uh, man, I've never seen fake tits in an oxygen tank on the same person before, but this is, uh, this is amazing. Uh, terrible. Terrible place. But yeah, I like Greece. I like, uh, <laughs> what else? I mean, shit, Hamilton's great. I know people are shitting on him now, but that's a great show. I mean, you know. I saw Cats. They, I, when I used to have Twitter, they tweeted at me, and they were like, Mateo, come see Cats for a perfect night. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I thought I was being yeah. scammed, so I wrote back. I'm like, what, what, what is this about? They're like, oh, it's Gay Night at Cats. We want you to come. And I was like, Every night's gay night. He can't. <laughs> so 
we went and I sat in the aisle and I didn't realize that they come through the aisle and yes. you know and they don't look like cats. They all look like they have Hep C. Um, <laughs> One of the cats ran right up to me, and like you know, they're like dancing like this, and th th there's no face. Look, this is, this wasn't their plan in life. <laughs> no one's plan is that. And so this is my face trying to pretend like I'm like having a good time. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> so that was cats. Yeah, it is. It is tough when you're like, because you are a working entertainer, and that's incredible. But you don't. I feel like you're in Cats. You tell your parents you're like, I'm doing porn. They're like, all right, all right. <laughs> it's rough. They're what's like, your I favorite? Do... What's your favorite musical other than Funny Girl? Um, I well, I used to be obsessed with Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. Way, way back in the Never day. Never saw it. Oh, you. Oh, you should Never go see Wicked. It. Although the we'll last Alphabet, it, they're they're a little bit they're a little on. Um, they're sort of just walking through it now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like tell them how I am defying gravity. Goodbye. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and these like Minnesota white women are like, it's beautiful. You know, it's a low bar coming in from Minnesota, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. real, it's a real. Well, one time I saw the Share Show. Me and Val went to go see the Share Show, oh, wow. and the Share Show was awful. And <laughs> they, instead of focusing on one moment of her life, which you know would have been more interesting, they just like sped through her entire life. And so at one point, the, there's Sonny, and Sonny was yelling at Share, and he goes, "Share, if you leave me, America will never love you again." And the woman behind me goes, <gasps> "No." <laughs> God bless him. Yeah, like this woman's an idiot. <laughs> any, can we do other advice? Yeah, oh, Who sorry, yes, Someone other advice? Questions. Qu any question, yes, Hello. question. Give me your best lesbian dating advice. Best lesbian dating advice. Well, um, just uh, before you go on the date, buy the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Have eight cat papers adoptions signed. Yeah, and what, what, what cry. Do, what does that mean, lesbian dating advice? Just like, are you, are you dating differently than the rest of us? What the fuck? Yes. Are they? <laughs> I mean, pardon my ignorance here, but is no. that what? Well, yeah. Why? Le what, what kind of advice? Well, you know, the the, the joke the, the joke is that les. What do you bring on? What is it again? Uh, what is it? You that's <laughs> relax, gays. <laughs> uh, wait. Right. So, are are you a lesbian? Yeah. Okay, and what, what kind of, specifically what kind of dating advice are you looking for? What, what issues have you had in the past? Um, after the first date, it's just quiet. Mm. <laughs> that sounds great to me, honestly. I don't know. Uh, I mean, geez. Honestly, I might not be the man for this job here, because <laughs> I don't, I should become a lesbian, dude. This sounds awesome. I was going to say, honestly, it sounds kind of gay. <laughs> It's oh, yeah, sorry, hello. Worst, worst hookup ever, and how did you end it, both of you? Oh, one time I was hooking up with this guy. He'd been like, like really like, like please, let's hang out, blah, blah, this and that. I'm like, okay, fine. So we went, we got a drink, and this is like maybe 12 years ago. I was still in Chicago, and he was like, let's go back to your place. I was like, okay. So we went back to my place. We, we were starting to make out, and then like it started getting a little heavier, and then he stops, and he goes, um, I have to go home because my, f my roommate's dad died and left. <laughs> and I was like, God, okay. I didn't realize it was that unsexy. Cool. Wow. Imagine? I know, I'll never, and I ne never Did heard Did you get a picture again. release or something? No, nothing. Nothing? Just, he just gone, vanished. My roommate's dad died. In the middle of making out, he was like, my roommate's dad died, and he left. He didn't even get like a, a, a vibrate on the phone or nothing? Fuck that guy, dude. Yeah. That's lame. He's probably I dead. <laughs> <laughs> With that attitude. What That's about you? What was, the, what was the question? The worst hookup? I got a had? good one. So this happened, this happened like probably close to a decade ago. I had a breakup and I was crushed. And I met a girl online, whatever, and we, we, uh, we hooked up. We made out a little bit on the date, and then uh, I never heard from her again. I remember I kissed her. It was like a cold New York winter, and I kissed her, and as I let her go, I was hammered. I let her go, and she goes, oh, my. And I go, she goes, I didn't expect that. And I was so drunk, I go, you better fucking expect it. <laughs> and I never heard from her again, and rightfully so. But here's where it gets real bad. Three <laughs> months later, I'm at lunch with my mom and dad. I get a text out of the blue. She goes, where are you? I said, I'm in Union Square. Uh, what's up? She goes, I want to see you, and I want to get freaky with you. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> 
So I excuse myself from lunch with my parents, obviously, because this <laughs> seems important. And I'm like, hey, what's up? And she goes, uh, yeah, it's like I've had a bad week at work. I want to fuck. And I was going, all right. So I go back to the table with my mom. I was like, mom, I got to leave. This audition just came up. And uh, <laughs> I lied to my mother's face in pursuit of a blowjob. But... Uh, <laughs> It's not a high point in my life. So I go to her place, and it's like shady. It's a different apartment than I walked her back to in, in, on the first day, but it's like New York. You're like, people sublet, right? So I go to her place. She comes, it's like a luxury building in Brooklyn. She comes downstairs. She looks beautiful. And uh, I said, let's go get a drink. And she goes, I have scotch upstairs. So this is all real shit, by the way. We go into her apartment. All, the only thing in the apartment is a bottle of scotch and a couch. <laughs> I feel like I just stumbled she onto sounds, a porno She sounds set. like a top. <laughs> <laughs> so we start making out. She starts sucking my dick. And then she stops and she goes, I sure hope my roommate doesn't catch us. And I was like, yeah, me too. And then, <laughs> and then we, uh, she's like, I actually, I actually want him to catch us. And I was like, what? what? That's when I should have left. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I was with my dick. Uh, <laughs> So we, so she's. I said, let's just go to your bedroom. She goes, okay. We go to her bedroom. She starts sucking again. He walks in. He's. The, I've been set up. Yeah. This is by far the worst hookup story of my life, by the way. <laughs> He's just staring at me, and she's sucking my dick. And in a moment of panic, I just turned to him. I was like, can I help you? <laughs> can I get anything? He's like, are we gonna do this? I was like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? And he goes, her. And I was like, there's been a misunderstanding. <laughs> And he goes, you're either in or you're out. I was like, is this fucking Ocean's Eleven? What the hell are you talking about? I'm out. So he said the door's that way. And I was just like, I don't fucking. All right. I, I'm, ter I'm like, are they going to rob me? I don't know what's happening. Your mind plays tricks on you. So I, I kind of don't even pull my pants all the way up. I like hobble out. I grab my backpack. And I. Uh, God, were I you leave. a Pokemon trainer? <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I remember walking around McCarran Park in Brooklyn. I was like, I want to fucking kill myself. And as I hit my absolute lowest, my mom called to see how the audition went. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Give it up for Sam Morell, Thank everybody. Check out his new special on Netflix. Bye, Sam. Oh my God. All right. I want to bring up one. Uno, can I take.